Hello everybody out there, my name is Silverweed and once again welcome back to School of Dragons. We have a brand new dragon but before we get that far there are a few things I would like to address concerning this dragon's release. First off, School of Dragons of course have this ongoing um, promise I would call it where they release a new expansion pack called it, they call it Call of the Death Song. And if you haven't known about this yet, it's right here as an article. I will link it down in the description so you can read it for yourself. This expansion pack includes a trainable death song, trainable razor web. And they have been promising us this for a long time. It was originally scheduled to be released in mid-July 2015. Actually, before that, it was set to be early mid-July. It is well past early and it is well past mid-July by now. We are actually moving towards the end of July and they have just been postponing this. They even made a forum thread siren saying that, okay, you gotta just take it easy. We are working on it. We're gonna get it to you out really soon. And I do believe we as people should accept that humans aren't perfect and no nothing goes according to plan almost always but they keep promising us things that they don't keep at all so you tend to get a little bit tired of their uh, yak milk to say it in a nice way I am very tired and people just seem to roll with it and be like thank you thank you so much for this and of course we should be grateful for it but it just hasn't been handled very well if you ask me also furthermore this is not even the only thing they released this kind of campaign on Facebook that if they get 300 shares on this particular post, they would release the new dragon. And this one was posted July 21, which means it is three days ago when we consider when the dragon got released. This thing got 491 shares. It got 300 shares almost within a few hours after its release. So people did this and they were praised like uh, Brynjolf said the good job great great thing nice going and nothing happened. We didn't get any dragon. The dragon got released Friday just like it always does. We always get dragons on Friday and this actually got released a little later compared to some of the other guys on Friday. So nothing changed and they have the audacity to list community unlocks Priggle Boggle. They did not unlock anything because this was delayed three days after they actually got their advertisement from every single fan. They got their shares. We never got a dragon. We got it exactly just like it was scheduled to be, just as it always is. And I think that's stepping on people. That's just taking advantage on people, just using their promotions to get these things out and not really rewarding them in the way they promised. And it frankly disgusts me a little bit. But that aside, now we got that out of the way, let's get back to this new dragon we actually got, the Pregel Boggle. One more thing before we continue, I did in fact change my name, as you can see up in the left corner. My name is now Silverweed instead of Judas Sky as it once were. And don't ask me how I changed my name because it was a glitch. I cannot tell you how to get this glitch, it just happened to me, I got lucky I would say. And I managed to change my name to Silverweed. I was formerly known as Judas Sky. Now I'm Silverweed, just like the YouTube channel. It's easier to kind of figure out, but I'm still the same person. So don't you worry about that. Also, I finally took out my toothless helmet so you can see my lovely face. So this is what my Viking looks like right now. And I hope you like it. I prefer this version very much better. I was tired of hiding, you know. Enough stalling, let's get on to this dragon. The Priggle Boggle, once again, a dragon that has never been seen in the franchise, never been seen anywhere. It is simply a creation of School of Dragons staff. Actually, the name Priggle Boggle was in the book that the films are based upon. You know, the game, How to Train, the movie How to Train Your Dragon, uh, are based on books by Crusader Cowell. And she had a dragon called Priggle Boggle, and it was a very tiny dragon, described as a nano dragon. So they actually just used the name and applied it to this dragon, which I kind of also think is a bit of, you know, it's a bit rude to do such a thing, but it's a minor detail. Uh, this dragon is, of course, the Hobble Grand Model over again. 
and it's nothing new. I'm growing really tired of just seeing the same dragons moving around in School of Dragons. Same models. You look, is that a Hobblegrun? Is it a rain color? Is it a Prigger Bugger? I can't really tell. It's the exact same movements. And that's a bother. But let's focus on the positive, right? Uh, things I like about this dragon. The tail is absolutely gorgeous. This is an amazing tail. It looks very much like a Stormcard tail. But unlike the Stormcard, this guy also kind of has secondary fins up here, closer to his body, which looks really great. And it's a huge, lovely tail, so who wouldn't want to love that? The wings are gorgeous, they are very big. This dragon has a huge wingspan, which you know I love very much. The head kind of looks like this guy woke up and had a really, really bad hair day. Or as one of my friends said, a really bad horn day. Uh, this guy looks like something straight out of Alice in Wonderland in the crazy department. It looks a little bit like something along the lines of the Mad Hatter, so he would fit perfectly in among those. Uh, they are kind of, when he was a kid, when he was a baby, a uh, dragon, pup, I don't even know, a uh, hatchling. The horns are very much small and look like, like kind of cute, now they just look a little bit intimidating to tell you the truth. But nonetheless, they are pretty cool. He has this really small horn too on his snout which also is rather amazing. His eyes are rather detailed, detailed actually. I do like them, but the overall shape of the head is a bit strange to me. And it looks very much like the Hubble Grunt, which we have already seen. But overall, it's a likable dragon. The long neck, I think I, 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 they could have shown it down a little bit. We've seen it so much with the rain card of the Hubble Grunt. The Shiver Tooth, too. So if that I've just, you know, same models. I would have loved this dragon to have bigger hind legs and a shorter neck. Then I would have loved it very much more and it would be more similar to a Velociraptor instead of just a skinny um, T-Rex. That's basically what I get from this. But the color pattern are also really nice. They have nice dots that you can color in all kinds of colors, rainbow colors. They can stand out really well. So nice color pattern. I'm gonna give them that. Let's take him out for a flight and see what he's actually able to do. Again, it is again the same model overall. It is the Alpha Grand model, Shiva 2 model, Rain Color model, I don't even know where it started anymore. Uh, except for the wings, I do believe this guy has a large, bigger wingspan than we have seen before. The tail is very huge. This guy is actually one of the biggest dragons you can get in the game. Of course, we also have the Screaming Death and such, but this guy is very big, at least when it comes to length and wingspan as well. So a really, really big dragon, which is nice. That's really uh, gorgeous. And considering this is just a gamer creation, it's not official anywhere, we've never seen it before, I actually can accept this dragon because it looks nice. It also looks like they fixed the movement of the legs. They look like they're closer to the body, which I just noticed right now. That is very gorgeous. I love it when it looks natural because when you see birds in flight, in real life their legs almost disappear because they hold them so close to their body. So I very much like that about this guy. It looks great. And again, huge wings. The, I gotta love the huge wingspan. It's really, really great. Another thing that's really unique about this guy is the way he shoots uh, fire. I don't even know if I would call it fire. But uh, this really weird... It's purple! He shoots out some purple goo stuff that is very nice and it matches the color of mine for sure, which is really funny. And according to the, um, how do you even call that, the description of this dragon that the creators released on their home site. This dragon is actually not shooting out fire, but this dragon is a healer. So it's shooting out some kind of thing that can heal other dragons on the battlefield. They, it's like this design, it's basically a medic that runs around and helps with friends on the battlefield. But have, you're probably gonna have a really hard time explaining that to the people you shoot at in-game. They're probably not gonna get it as a nice little compliment, like, let me heal you. No, they're gonna take it as a sign of war. So I would be careful where you shoot this goo, even though it is helpful. I think that's kind of sums it up what we have to say about this guy. The model is something we've seen, so we've been through that. So let's take a look at the stats and see how great this dragon is able to do. Again, I changed my name as you can see here now in big 
big font, so you will be able to tell. It's a glitch, it's still me, still have all my dragons, same person, no need to worry there, okay? It was just to make it easier for you guys, actually. So here we have the Prickle Buggle, which I hope I'm pronouncing right, of the Sharp class. I named mine Bunny, and it's of course named after the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, which just got its fourth game, so that's really interesting. The stats of this dragon, max speed 1.7, pitch rate 8, turn rate 10, acceleration 9.7 thousand. Well, that looks like this dragon is gonna have some horrible ass stats. This is really horrible, because acceleration is nothing if your max speed is 1.7. That just means you get to 1.7 really fast and then you stay there and you don't really go faster at all so that's gonna be really great i think this guy is gonna be amazing in racing yeah okay <laughs> we got a race and in case you didn't pick it up i was being very sarcastic before this dragon has no hope in racing whatsoever but let's just hope we don't die that will be preferable among everything above everything don't start looking super sassy at that picture right all right let's just hope we don't get penalty that would be the goal with this guy go Look at that wonderful acceleration, just amazing. But look what happens now. He doesn't go any faster. He just stays here at this dull speed. Dull speed. It's really a shame because this guy turns just like Toothless does and pitch just like Toothless does. This guy has the movement of Toothless. The only way I'm not gonna get penalty in this is if I use up some speed boost. So I'm gonna do that when time is idle. Because I don't want to get my penalty, that's just horrible. Actually, we are number two right now, so I wouldn't really need to get speed boosts unless I would want to be number one. Uh, but this guy, I really just, well, maybe let him just prove himself what he can do. He can't do anything. I, I was really, I'm disappointed because this dragon is best, definitely better than the mod Raker, which was also a dragon the game uh, came up with themselves. And... It's just a little disappointing that that he can't even do anything, right? What is that guy doing over there? He's confused. Uh, of course, we are racing against Toothless, but still, still, he should be able to keep up and don't crash into things. But like I said, he turns really, really well and he moves really, really well. But the speed is he's super slow. He's slower than a Grunkle almost, at least the same kind of speed there. And it's just not a dragon suitable for racing at all. Number two, it's, it's fine. It's, I mean, we were lucky this time. So that was pretty much racing with the prickle boggle. Very disappointing. So again, if you want this dragon, then only buy it for looks. Then don't buy it if you want it as a racing dragon because it's no good. And I don't think it's gonna do very good in Fireball Frenzy either because it's so big so you won't be able to see anything from its huge size. Again, I like the look of this dragon, but it's disappointing that they keep releasing these dragons over and over again. I was so hoping for the Razor Whip this time around because I really want the Razor Whip and I have been leveling up every single dragon I have just to get ready for the Razor Whip. So every dragon is max level, and then I have the Razor Whip, which I will treasure above all. But no Razor Whip yet, and they keep stalling. And it's disappointing, and you are happy now. But let's not get uh, too depressed and sad about that. This guy is... He's delightful. It's not like you want to die when you see him. He's fine. And thank you so much for watching this Dragons 101. Uh, not very, very excited about all this, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed and check out some of my other School of Dragon videos if you have the time and if you want, of course. 
And with that said, I will see you next time. So long, Dragon Riders!